Hello world, my name is Sima and the topic I would like to discuss is prisons in Russia for women. I have personal experience with this. Uh, I had a strong possession of marijuana and uh, people who knows that I've been uh, in prison asks me lots of questions. So I decided to uh, make these videos if you are interested in, you are welcome to ask any questions. I'll answer to everyone. That's why I'm here. And uh, I was addicted to Mary Jane uh, for a long years, for about maybe seven years. I was smoking every single day. From the early morning, I get vodnik. Uh, to those who uh, doesn't know, uh, vodnik is the method of smoking marijuana. Uh, for example, you can uh, smoke joint and you will be high, but if you smoke vodnik, you will be dead. And uh, that's why I, on that time I was thinking that I'm not addict, that everything is alright, until police caught me. <laughs> And when they caught me, I was uh, 25 years old. Uh, and first thought was that life ended. Now I know that it's not true, everything is good. But on that time, uh, it was like that. Uh, so uh, I've been sentenced to five years, and uh, I was fortunate to have received lesser sentence than 10 years prescribed by the law of my crime, but I still spent four years uh, in Russian prison before being released on parole. It's funny, but in Russia you can get a shorter sentence for murder than for drugs. Uh, it's funny and scared at the same time because the government believes that if you use drugs, you are breaking down society, not your own health, not your own life, society. And, but if you kill just one person, so what? <laughs> one man al alone is not a barrier. Right? Maybe they think like that. And the conditions in prisons were shocking. And the experience has left me with a deep sense of despair about the state of Russian justice system. It's reminiscent of the critical realism depicted by Leo Tolstoy. Uh, maybe you have read uh, his work, uh, Resurrection. And while I was reading this book, I found so many similarities uh, between the 19th century and modern day prisons, uh, they are striking. Corruptions and bribery are rampant and those who should be incarcerated are often left to roam free. That's the reality. And currently over 70% of women in Russian prisons are incarcerated for drug-related offenses. And the penalties for drug offenses are really, really huge. Uh, those who caught using drugs or selling small amount uh, giving the same sentences as those who committed acts of terrorism. This is because the authorities view drug use as a crime against society and those who use drugs are seen as a threat to the moral fabric of society. And I met lots of young women from 18 years old uh, they were giving sentences of 10 15 or even more 19 years old for drug related offenses and it's difficult to imagine how they will rebuild their lives after they relieve release sorry for my english it leaves much to be desired but I'm trying to uh, get you into this uh, cruel world of um, Russian prisons. And uh, 
these girls uh, just don't know what to do after release because they didn't see life, they can't do anything except knowledges they get from uh, prison. So, unfortunately, about 80% of women uh, get into prison again, second, third time, fourth time, because they don't know how to live in freedom. And that's the reality. Um, overall, the experience of being uh, in a woman's prisons has left me with a deep uh, sense of sadness and disillusionment. The system is broken and it's the most uh, highest members of society who suffer the most. Uh, I hope that this video could help someone and maybe by these videos I can change something in this system because what's going on there is a real um, aggressive and um, degradate uh, system that uh, I will tell you all about my way there and you will see too I have lots of videos and photos from that places so subscribe to my channel and I will show you more and you will learn more about uh, these places see ya Bye.